Tonight on this video, we are going to be showing you guys how to airbrush these do it mold blanks. I got these off Tackle Warehouse. I'll put a link in the description down below. These are really good priced if you want to get into doing some airbrushing for yourself. This is one that I just did the other night. Just a traditional silverfish, black back, white belly. It turned out all right. I mean, for a first stab at it, there's a little bit of pearl mixed into that color to give it that nice shine. But we're going to set the cameras up, guys, right now, and I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to paint your own lures. One thing you're going to want to do right away is shoot some water through this thing, make sure it's clear. You're going to have to do that every time when you're changing colors. You can see i got a bowl of water right here. If you have a paint that is a little bit thicker, you can use a little bit of reducer in there. It will lighten that paint up, and it'll make it a lot easier for this machine to spray. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a base white and then we're going to start throwing some color on this thing. And super important in between your coats, you are gonna to wanna to heat set this paint with just a heat gun or a hair blow dryer, whatever you got on hand. Then you'll need like a paper towel or a dry rag just to dry this bowl out every time you do change colors. I didn't clean this super good because I am throwing pearl white right over top of this base coat. I think I'm gonna do like a pearl white over the whole thing, a little bit of a black line on the back and then black around the eyes. But as we go, you'll see it all come together. Next step after you've heat treated your paint and you've got your color exactly how you want it, what you're gonna wanna do is I know that there's some kind of like dip epoxies and then you can put these on like little rotisseries so they can cure evenly. All I have right now is a transparent clear automotive clear. And this is kind of all I've got at the reach of my hands in my shop right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this outside. I'm gonna blast it with some clear. We're gonna heat it, treat it. And there you have it there couple coats of clear really brings these to life guys i mean if i was using the epoxy dip it'd look a lot better but i mean you've got a real nice shine coming off that pearl white and that black i mean i'm happy with it i'll toss that around you know there's an art to it there's people out there that are a lot better than me using this and especially using a lot better equipment i'm probably you know maybe a hundred bucks into all of this but I wanted to hop on, show you guys how easy this really can be if this is something you're really interested in and you really wanna do. Everybody knows that a good swim bait's gonna be anywhere from $20 to over $100. If you can save yourself some money, screw around with some colors and make some really unique swim baits for yourself, for your personal arsenal, I think that's freaking awesome. I gotta let this thing dry and then I'm gonna throw some eyes on it. I'm gonna come back and show you the finished product. And there you have it right there, guys. Finished product, pearl white, black back. Got the hooks and the eyes in there. I went with like a black and silver eye. I think it really goes good with this color scheme that I got going on. One thing I did forget to mention, you are gonna wanna use some kind of super glue. This is Permatex Ultra Bond, just for these eyes right here. These eyes here, they come with sticky back, but just for extra precautions, something for that really to bite onto so you know it's not gonna come off. I had a lot of fun doing this video for you guys. If you do wanna see more airbrushing videos, please comment down below and let me know. Other than that, if you can give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.